Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. Today we will learn Django from scratch. In this video, we will learn Django with Bootstrap, SQLite, with the example project. And this project will be photo gallery. So in this photo gallery project, we will create these features. We will create user register, user login, user can, user can create albums and in that albums, user can upload photos. You, user can browse the listing of the listing according to the albums. User can uh, in, the, in their profile, from their profile, user can restrict the album to show public or not. User can anytime delete the whole album or specific photo. So all these features we will learn in this example projects. Okay, we will implement this feature in this example project. So we will create this project with Django 3, SQLite and Bootstrap 5. I hope you will uh, enjoy this video. You, you will enjoy this uh, uh, photo gallery website and you will learn lots of things. Okay, so let's start to do this. Okay, so the first thing we need to install Django in our system. Okay, so what we will do, we will go to our command line and before installing Django, we will install the virtual environment. Okay, so Please make sure that you have a valid version of Python. I am using Python 3. Okay. So if you run Python in the command line and I am using the window operating system. So I am using uh, if you run the command Python then it will show the it will show the version of Python that you have installed. So I am using 3.9.1. Okay. And after installing the Python pip command is comes with Python. So you can install any package. Uh, any uh, python package with the help of pip command so this pip install first of all we will install virtual environment so here this is the package virtual env okay and if you search on google then you will find the documentation of this and then after create after installing the virtual environment we will create virtual environment so here is the command to creating the virtual environment so i have already created that now i will activate in the window system so activate so activation process according to the operating system so okay so i am uh, i am running the commands according to the window operating system so here i will change the keyboard language and now i will env scripts activate so it will activate the virtual environment so this is the env now i will install django okay so pip install Django. Okay, so here you can install the Django. So this will install the latest version of Django. So requirement is already satisfied because I have already installed Django in our system. Now I will create the project. So Django, Django admin, start project, and the project will be photo gallery okay so this will create the photo gallery project now i will be go to the photo gallery okay now i am in the photo gallery project and here you, we can see that this is the here we can see that photo gallery and it is created the project now i will create the app so in in project you can create multiple apps so app is a uh, similar to you can say app is a similar to module okay so now we will create so because we are in a photo gallery project we can run the manage.py command okay so here django provides us manage.py command there are lots of commands in this uh, system okay so py manage.py start app main okay so this will create the main app so app is created here you can see that app is created and in this app folder we have multiple files okay and we have a this is a project level settings and this is a app level settings now we will run the project py manage.py run server Okay, 
so it is running the server at this 127.0. something so we will go to 127 so we have successfully installed django in our system okay now in the next step we will uh, we will create our models for our photo gallery system and all the things so we have successfully installed django now we will create the database stru structure for our project okay so for creating the database structure in a project we have a yeah, we will go to the main and we will open our models.py file okay so in this models.py file we will create the album structure because every photo belongs to album so we will create class album you can say okay album model uh, not model let's say album and we will inherit the models dot model class and here we will create the title of the album and that will be models dot care field and the maximum length is a required field so maximum length will be 150 characters okay and we will return this default when we call this when we in initiate this object then we will return this name okay so return self dot title so mm. ev uh, in every project whenever you start the every project the first thing we need to do we need to define the structure of our model structure of our database you can see so <clears throat> we have defined the model and the second thing is here we will say model album okay so every album belongs to some user okay so django default comes with user model so from django dot contrib dot contrib dot auth dot models we will import the user model okay so here user equal to models dot models dot care field and this is not care field we need to define a foreign relationship foreign key relationship so to we need to define user and on delete we will define models dot cascade so whenever we delete the user it will automatically delete the related for related album to this user okay and the second one is defined we will define our photos model so photos model okay and this is the photos models dot model and the first name will be uh, image the first thing will be image so models dot and here we need to remember that we can we can use image field only if we have installed the pillow package in our uh, in the in our project okay so what we need to do we will break this uh, running server and we will pip install pillow so this package will uh, this package will see all the things we need to do for the image so i have already uh, i have already installed this okay so I just want to show you the command. So py manage dot py run server. Okay. So now we have an image field, and in this image field we need to define upload to. So where we want to upload? Okay. So I will upload. You can say photos. Okay. So in the photos directory I want to upload the photos. And then we will define the all text. So models dot care field. Mm -hmm. And here we will define the length. Sorry. So length is let's say 100. Okay. Okay. So here we will return the all text 
actually we want to return the image we want to oh, okay we will uh, run uh, we will work on the image later i just want I, I will just return the alt text okay so alt text okay now we have created this model so what we need to do we will stop this server and we will py manage dot py make migrations okay we need to register this app in our system in our project so in the photo gallery photo gallery settings dot py file and here we will add the project okay and now what we will do now we will run the migration command so this will this will create the migrations file okay and now we will migrate it so py manage dot py migrate so this comes with uh, uh, as i said before that it comes with the user model so it will also migrate the user uh, user level settings it will also create the user level tables in the database okay so here you can see the database if you go to the project and here you, you can see db.sqlite3 okay so uh, django default uh, connected with the sqlite3 and uh, this will uh, uh, you can see the database here in the project level uh, folder okay so we have mig migrated that and now what we will do manage.py run server okay so where we can see the all the fields so uh, because we have not created the front end yet so what we will do we will create the admin okay so with the help of manage.py create super user so with the help of uh, user model we can create the super user so py manage.py create super user so this will ask uh, ask the username i will add some and i will skip the address email address the password yes and now i will run the server run server okay so now when i will go to the admin so it will show the admin and now we will add the password so here is a admin but we 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 did not uh, add the models to our admin so that it is not showing so in the next step we will add the uh, we will add the models to the admin and we will also upload some data and see that data and perform the add edit and other things okay so we will see the admin magic in the next step okay so we have successfully created the admin now in this admin we will add the models so what we need to do we will open our admin.py file and here we will register the models so what we will do admin dot site dot register and here we will import the model first from dot models uh, you can say from dot import models okay and in this models dot album okay one thing more we have not added this photos relationship to the album so we need to add this relationship so here first of all because every photo belongs to album so models dot foreign key and album okay i will copy this and just replace the foreign key relationship okay <clears throat> now we will go to the admin and i will uncomment this and here i will add the photos because we have changed the things in the model so we need to uh, migrate this again so i will uh, stop the server py manage dot py make migrations okay so it is saying that album to photos without default because we have already created that 
so what we need to do we will here define the null equal to true okay so here make migrations it will okay so here it will add the field album to the photos now we will migrate this py manage dot py migrate okay so we will run the server so we have added the model to the admin now let's see what it will show in the admin so we will refresh this so here you can see photos and albums so when we click on this album we can add album so let's say user uh, user is admin and album is album one and we will save and add another so admin album two okay save so we have created the two albums now we will in the go to the photos and here we will select the album and select the image so i will select the image any image and here i will add the text image one add another image and i will album add let's say this and this is image two and save and add and let's say album two and we will add this picture and image three okay we enough data for now <clears throat> so we have uh, images we have albums now we need to i want to show the image here okay so uh, actually this name is wrong so we will add it this image so you can see that django comes with lots of features here you can see that we can manage the crud in the admin just we need to add the model to the admin and we can manage the crud of that model okay so now what what i want to do i want to show the photos also so here in the model i will import from django dot utilities dot html and i will import mark save mark save okay why it is not showing html and it is showing mark save okay and in this photos i will return define image tag and here i will define self and i will return sorry i will return image tag okay so here i will image source Okay, I will do this in a single quote and this will be in a mark save this and this this will be in, in this okay now here we will add the percentage s and here we will add self dot and this image dot url okay and here we will close the tag and define the width equal to 100 okay and now we need to render this image tag so i will go to the admin and before adding this uh, photos to the uh, admin i will create a class photos admin and here admin dot model admin okay and now here list display so what i want to display in a list so i will display the first thing image the first thing is image tag i want to show the image tag let's say uh, let's say uh, all text and then image tag okay and i will register this uh, i will register this setting in the admin now we will check this so i think mark safe is a not a correct spelling so this will be a mark safe 
okay now we will go to the server uh, admin marks have text one positional argument but two were given so here i will take reference uh, from my another project that is a e-commerce project and i will go to the main models and here okay so this is the thing uh, actually i have added the comma but it should be a percentage okay fine and this will be a this will be in a brackets in places okay so let's see refresh this page and we have a images okay one thing more we didn't define the path media path in our settings file so that the images is not showing because we need to add the media path in our urls also okay so what we need to do we will open our we will open our urls.py file and we will open the settings and static things in our urls file so here in the urls file okay we need to create this so urls.py from django from django dot urls import path and url patterns equal to path let's say we want to views dot views dot home and we also need to add the settings we need to add in the settings level things so here we need to add the media media things so i will add this i will open the settings and i will copy the media things here the media okay and i have this so i will add that and one thing more we need to import this os okay so we will import this os here okay so we have defined that media things now in the urls.py file i need to i will create the home so from dot import views from dot import views and here i will define the name and that is a home okay and in the views file here i will create the simple home we will define the layout later so request return home okay so in the urls we have defined that now we need to add concatenate the media things in this url pattern so what i will do here we need to define this if the setting is debug then we will define the url things in the media and we need to import the settings and this media root from the from our root settings so here i will import this i hope you are understanding all the things if not then please add in the comment section i will try to resolve that <clears throat> and also i'm showing you the running project so i hope you will not miss anything so please watch the video carefully so you will not uh, face anything error and do your self study on everything because i know django properly so that i'm doing the maybe i'm uh, i'm doing the thing fast but uh, if you are beginner then please uh, uh, please study everything uh, deeply everything carefully okay so we have defined the things now we will run server it is saying that because os is not defined but now we have defined that so refresh this page okay so what it is saying okay one thing more we have defined this setting in the photos okay but we need to define in the media so this is media and this is 
photos if you not create the photos then it will all it will create that okay we will delete this delete let's add the photos and here let's add this image one save okay so where it is showing that media photos to dot jpg so it is creating the media photos to dot jpg okay so why okay so it is not showing the image uh, because uh, we need to add this main app in our project level urls file okay so we will go to the project level url file and here we will include we will import the include package and now we will include our main we will include the main uh, app file here so i will open the path i will i want to open the things uh, default from the url file so here i will add include main dot url so it will in on the root it will uh, load the main dot urls file whatever we uh, we have defined the views uh, uh, views method okay so now we will go to the admin and here you can see that we it will load the image uh, it will load the image now i'll go to the admin and uh, no uh, we will go to the models and here i will define the path it <coughs> <clears throat> okay so now it is showing the image so what we need to do here in the uh, in the list we can uh, we are showing the image and uh, photos are attached with the albums and albums are attached with the user okay and everything is working now so now we need to create the front end so in the next step we will create the front end and show all the images okay so in this section we will create the front end layout for our album and photos okay till now we have created all the things at the admin level now we will create the front end layout uh, layout so we will open our get bootstrap Okay, so we will open the get bootstrap and the default version is 5 and we will go to examples and here we will select the album layout okay and we will copy this so we will control u and we will copy this and before copy this uh, template we need the bootstrap gs file so here we will upload the file so from the we will save in the xam server sd docs and in our okay sorry i am at the wrong place so here in the photo gallery we will go to the main and we will add the static and we will save bootstrap dot min dot css okay oh why well, i can close that okay so and one thing more we have a bootstrap dot min dot css and we need bundle this bootstrap okay so we will bootstrap bundle okay so we have downloaded this file and now we need this html so i will copy this html okay and i will create and save and we need to create the templates and here in this i will create home dot html and i will paste it here okay and in the script i will surely define the link before defining the link we don't have any i will remove this and i don't have any okay we will define this i don't have any five fab icons so i will remove this 
and I will remove this also. Okay. Now we need to define the link relation style sheet actually and here we will define the type and this is a text css and here i will define the thing so before defining the static things we need to load static okay and here we will define the static so this will automatically load the uh, whatever we have defined from the static folder so here okay and now i will copy this and go to the bootstrap bundle and i will paste it here and i will just define the name so i will remove this and define the name okay now we have done now we will render this home.html from the view so i will remove this admin models uh, we have defined the urls and in the url i am calling home uh, settings we don't need settings this is the flow okay so now we will in this we will render and the first argument is request and the second argument is template name so this is the template name home.html okay so we will go to the and we will go to the url and here is the template we will click on this and it is working it is properly working we don't need this section okay so we will remove this section if you want to keep if you want to add this section in your uh, if you want to customize that you, then you can keep this section as it is so i will remove this okay this is the collapse thing and uh, we don't need this section actually so i will remove this section okay here we will fetch the thumbnails okay the, 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 the thumbnails will be an image so we need to define the image in the thumbnail so we will open the models.py file and here we will define the thumbnail image so this is uh, not thumbnail image album image and here i will copy this okay and here i will album album images okay and now we need to as because we are creating this after adding the after created data in this album so that we need to define this null okay so we will go to gallery and py manage dot py make migrations okay py manage dot py migrate here okay fine now we will go to the run server and here in the albums we we, uh, we want to show the album image so this is the album image uh, let's say album image is uh, uh, let's say this and save this and this album image okay let's show the album image in admin also so what we need to do we will copy this and paste it here and this will be album image dot url okay everything is fine and now in the admin we need to call this so we will create this before the thing and we need to add this and this is the title because album title here is the title and here is the album title okay and image name Okay, let's show the username also. So user underscore username. Okay, because the user model and from the user model, I'm fetching the username because we have defined the foreign relationship in the album. Okay, fine. Now let's see, see this album. Okay, I think we didn't, we didn't add the, this will be album admin and this will be okay fine let's see this sorry I rerun the server
main album admin refers to user username okay so why it is saying that user username because i'm calling this username but that syntax is fine let's see this later refresh this and here is the album album image and the username is username that will be a fine user and username okay let's modify this later so we have defined the album image and we are showing the album image now we will fetch this albums in our template so where is our template so here is the template okay so this is the home template and let's say photo gallery okay so here we will show the album image and this will be album name so if user is logged in and created by this album that user we will show the edit else we will show the view and here we will show the total photos of this album okay so we will do all this thing okay so <clears throat> in the next section we will fetch the data from the albums model okay so in this part we will fetch the all albums here with the image okay and we will show all counting of how many photos in that album okay and uh, we will so we will uh, change some uh, uh, styling of this view and edit and we will fetch the title also okay so let's do this so first thing we need to do we will fetch album models from the model from dot models import album okay and from the album we will fetch data equal to album dot objects dot all so this will fetch all the data from the albums and now we will pass the data with the help of this dictionary syntax and data and data okay and we have lots of columns here so what we will do here we will copy this column and we will remove all the columns from this row and just paste it paste it there and now we will check that if if data if data is not none it means if data is exist then we will run the loop and if okay and now we will for album in data and for refresh this so here you can see we have a two albums and it is showing two now we will show the image so I will remove this SVG and in the place of SVG I will add image source equal to and here we will add album dot album image dot url okay so it is showing the image now we need uh, we will show this as a uh, four columns so I will in the in the small device I will add 3 and in the medium device I will add 4 okay and for the all over we will define 4 so it will show the 4 albums at a time in a row okay now we will change here the title album dot title so this is the title and now we need to change this how we need to count these photos okay so what we need to do here before all we will annotate and here we will add total photos equal to count dot photos so this is our name relation name uh, relational model and this count we will get from the django dot db dot models import count so it will count the uh, photos from e from each album okay and we will access this total photos in our layout so from album here we will add total photos and here we need add this total photos Okay, so album 1 has 1 photo and album 2 has 0 photos. 
okay now we will change this i will make this button some large this kind of thing and i will add it primary and here i will add it in okay so this will change like this you can change anything whatever you want you can see the documentation of bootstrap and all the things and we also need to add link in the image and at the title also uh, at the title i will add okay let's leave this as it is and i will but i will add a link so if anyone click on the title it will redirect to the that album specific page okay and similarly we will add this at image okay so these are buttons but we need to make it anchor tag and in the place of href we will add in the place of type we will add href okay so now so we will work on the link later but uh, we have defined the link and we have fetched fetched all the albums okay so uh, everything is fine <coughs> okay so what we need to do next when we click on this we will fetch all the related photos to it okay so in the next section when we click on this we will fetch all the photos okay so in this step we will create the photos page when we click when user click on this album link then it will redirect to the photos page and we will fetch all the photos from this uh, that specific album okay so let's add some photos to the album one let's add some photos photos and add album one and photos and this is the image two save and add another album add another image three save and add another and let's add this one more image four okay so now we have four photos and in album two we have zero photos okay maybe we will uh, uh, maybe we will remove this edit because uh, we want to edit the album actually i am keeping this edit because i want to edit the album name uh, from the uh, user can edit the album name or change the album photo so i will okay i will see this uh, i will see this what we need to uh, what is the flow of edit okay we will see this later okay now we need to create the album page so first of all i will create the base layout okay and then we will extend that base layout for the every page okay so i will copy this copy and paste it here and in this from i will just copy the main section so i will copy this main this main okay and i will add it here and this load static okay now in this uh, home section what we will do we will extend the layout extends base dot html okay and here we will block content okay and this will be end block this will be end block okay and similarly we will def we need to define the block here block content and i will copy the block end block from here and paste it here okay so let's refresh this so everything is fine and uh, but now we are working with the base layout okay so similarly we will create the home uh, like home we will create the photos uh, let's say album let's say photo list photos list dot html okay and we will load this from the view so we will copy this 
and we will paste it here photo photos list and from the help from the here we will add get the photos also the model name is photos okay and here album photos and we need to define the album id here so this will be photos and we will get the only filter album id we need the album so album dot sorry album dot objects dot get an id equal to album id and here we will pass the album okay and we will pass this we are passing this data and in the urls we need to define the urls also so here what we will do we will get the photos slash and this will be int and this will be album id and here we will add the photos and the name url is photos okay so we have created that now we need to link this in our album so here url photos and we need to pass the album dot id similarly we will do this for view and similarly we will do this for image photos not photo over photos okay replace all okay fine now we will refresh this page and when we click on this it will show the list but it is not showing the photos because we have added the album image but the name is image only okay so here we will add the image url and we need this is the photo photo so we need to add this photo dot image dot url and photo all text photo all text we don't need this uh, button group and we don't need this thing we just need the photo and the url so we have okay so we have uh, what we need to check it photo url we are loading the photos data we are doing the everything but we are not loading the page photos list so that it is showing I refresh this page okay so all photos are listing here now and we also want to show the album name so album will be album will be we will pass the album name okay we can okay no problem so album and in the photos list we have a container so in the container we will add h4 tag and here we will add album dot title so album one photos okay let's say we will add here in the main section uh, if we not add in the container then it will go somewhere else okay and but we need to remove this we can remove this or we can say we can in reduce this okay and we will add margin bottom say 4 let's say margin bottom 5 okay we, we, do, uh, we can't give margin because we are in the container we can add h3 okay so album 1 photos let's make it different color for the album name and make it color class text danger okay fine now okay we will give the home page link at the base template so we will give where it is it is in it is here album so here so the name is home 
and refresh this page click on this we are in the album no photos we are here and here okay so in the next step what we do we will implement the user login sign up so user can upload and uh, after login user can upload the album and upload the photos okay so we will do the things in the next step okay so till now we have created our album list page and when we click on the album list it will show the all photos the contain uh, all photos existing in that album now we will create user login sign up so that user can user can after uh, user can create album and upload photos in that album okay so let's create the user login and sign up with the logout so what we will do here i will open the project level settings project level url file so in the photo gallery urls.py file here i will include include accounts so django default comes with the authentication so i will include django dot contrib dot auth dot urls okay and let's let's close all the tabs other okay so now what we will do here we will go to the main app and here we will go to the templates and here we will create a registration dot registration folder and in this we will create login dot html file okay and in login dot html file what we will do uh, we will copy the photos we will copy this and we will paste it here and in the main container i will remove this div i will remove this div and in the main container let's add the heading add heading login okay and here we will add table so this table is table bordered okay and here form dot as table and we will create the submit button so this will be two and here we will input type submit okay and here we will add the okay we are fine now so this will render the form and we have added the submit button let's add this value login so when we will go to the login so here you can say accounts login so it will show the login page and here is the heading and here we are showing the login page let's add this container margin vertical is 5 okay and let's add this heading margin this okay and we will we will add make it a bootstrap button so button button let's say primary okay and we will add the sign up link also so here we will add the sign up link currently we have not created the sign up functionality so i will keep it as a hash okay so this is sign up okay so when we will log in we need to it will redirect where so we 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 have to define the redirection so we will open the project level settings file so project levels settings.py file and here we need to set the redirections so after login login redirect url so this will be home and logout redirect url and this will be login okay so let's check this login redirect url logout redirect url okay so let's change this let's uh, rerun the server and refresh the page and we will go to the admin admin and here we will okay we need to make it form 
we didn't make it form but actually this is rendering the form fields not creating the form tag so here this is the form and in the form we need to render the CSRF token because without the CSRF token you can't submit the data with the post method post method method post okay so now let's go to the login page and admin admin enter and it will redirect to the logout it will redirect to the home okay so we need uh, we will change the top bar because this is not this is not uh, 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 this is not like uh, our requirement so what we will do we will go to the get bootstrap okay and here we will open the bootstrap official docs and here we will search nav bar go to the nav bar and we will copy this nav bar let's say we will copy this nav bar uh, let's say this nav bar okay so this nav bar i will copy this and i will open my base.html file so here and where is the header so here is the header so in the header i will put nav bar or you can say we uh, at the place of header we can put nav bar okay now let's refresh the page so here is the nav bar so nav bar should be in container so i will add container okay and this will be nav bar dark and bg dark you can change any color okay and this will be home is active so this will be home and let's put the url let's put the url home okay and the next url will be the next url will be all albums let's say all albums okay and let's say login let's say login register okay here is a login register so if this login register will show if if and only if the user is not logged in so here what we will do if user if user dot is authenticated authenticated then it will show then it will show logout link else it will show and if okay so here if user is authenticated then we will show the logout else we will show the log uh, login link login and register and also we will show the dashboard so here is a dashboard okay so now we have logged in oh, okay we don't need the home link because we have already put the home link on our logo so this will be a photo gallery and here we will put the link so this will be home okay so we have settled out the we have settled the header and we have settled the login thing so when we log out this okay so we need to link this log out so here we will put the log out link so here log out so when we click on this it will redirect to the login page okay so in the next section we will create the sign up thing okay so let's create the sign up page with sign up functionality so what we will do we will open the urls we need to open the uh, we need to open the app level urls file so we will open the app level url file and here we will add accounts sign up and the name will views they will be sign up name will be sign up okay and open the views.py file and first of all we need to from okay let's comment this user sign up so from django dot 
contrib dot auth dot forms import user creation form user we need user creation form okay and after that we will create sign up find sign up request or oh, this will be in small okay and the form is user creation form and we will return the form here so this will be accounts or uh, this will be registration slash sign up dot html and we will pass the form here okay so let's see okay we need to create the sign up dot html file also so we will go to the templates and we will go to this registration and here we will add sign up dot html okay and we will open the login dot html file we will exact copy the same data just need to change the sign up and here we will add login and make the url url login and here we will add the percentage and this will be let's say sign up okay so we have created the sign up page so let's see the sign up page so in the login we, we need to add the link so i will copy the login link and here i will add the sign up so refresh this so i when you click on this it will show the default fields username password password confirmation okay so now let's create the test test one two three it is saying that not similar at least so i will create something that is not similar and that will match these fields so after the sign up we will redirect to where because we have created we haven't created that the sign up functionality so we will go to the views and here what we will do if request dot method equal equal to post then we will get this form with all data request dot post and check if is form dot is valid form dot is valid then we will Here we need to add if form dot is valid then we will form dot save okay it means it will save the data and let's say we have a message message equal to empty and after the save we will add message equal to thanks for thanks for sign up okay and pass this message here and let's say sign up and we will after this thing we will add the message so here we will add the message here let's add this message at the top okay and we have added the post and everything so after the sign up what we will do okay so refresh this page let's say test and some password sign up so it will showing that thanks for sign up so let's go to the login okay we need to add this uh, as a link so i will open the base.html file base.html file is here and we need to add the link so this is login this is sign up and let's rename it sign up refresh this 
or we don't need to this thing so login and we will go to the add the same thing okay so we have successfully logged in okay so uh, now we have implemented the login logout and sign up functionality so in the next section what we will do we will go to the user dashboard and manage the albums and photos from their dashboard uh, we will manage uh, the we can add the album we can add the photos in the album we can delete the album and uh, we will edit the album name okay so we will do the these things in the next section okay so let's create the user dashboard in this dashboard we will manage all the albums and photos okay so let's create the user dashboard so i will remove all the files from here and just keep the this file and i will create the this link dashboard dashboard and i will name it dashboard and this is dashboard and create the templates dashboard dot html okay and i will copy any template like uh, i will copy the photo list i will not copy the photo list actually i will copy the login dot html file <coughs> this template <coughs> okay so here and just name it dashboard okay and we will create this dashboard let's say okay so i will create this in a row and we will divide this row in a two section so the first is like three and the second is call md9 okay and in the left side i will define the list group you can find all the things all the documentation on the bootstrap official website and this is a list group item list group item we can also copy from the get bootstrap official website go to this docs list group and here we are so we will copy this and just paste it here and let's see how it will look in our dashboard and we need to define the link as a dashboard so we will go to the we will go to base.html file here the best.html file and we are defining the dashboard dashboard okay we also need to define the views.py functionality so i will copy this data and here we will define this and this is dashboard and name it dashboard. okay so this is dashboard and we are we are not passing any data here currently but we will pass we will surely pass so refresh this page go to dashboard so it is showing the things but we need a link so what we will do here we will copy this link and button items so i will copy this thing list group okay so we will modify this list group okay so we don't need this disabled item okay and we don't need this active item we will see this later okay so here is the albums and here we will we'll be okay we will keep it simple we will add this just albums okay so it will redirect it will show the all albums to just uh, this current users okay we will create this page soon and let's refresh this so it is showing it is saying this is album and what more we uh, we, we we can add okay so this is albums or we can add okay so this is fine currently so here we will show the numbers 
so like a row create i will create row and in this row i will create column call md3 and in this i will create card and in this class uh, not just h4 and this will be add class card header and this will be total albums uh, let's say we have 10 albums and similarly we will create this for photos so we will show the counting of the photos so refresh this okay so this will be we can make it more better just uh, we need to remove this let's say this is 5 actually your left side list is small so that it is uh, showing this thing uh, let's say we can add this link in the top menu so we don't need this uh, we, we don't need this sidebar actually mm, okay we can remove this let's remove this we don't need this uh, we don't need this this thing we need this row but we don't need this we don't need these two more items two more things so this div so i will make it here and make it here so albums photos okay so in the albums we will show the total numbers so this will be card body and here we will show the text so this will be 10 so it will show like this and similarly we will do this for here let's say 100 okay and let's make this let's make this uh, actually h4 h6 this is okay and let's make this link so that when we click on this it will show the list of albums refresh this and this okay so albums photos so now we need these countings so from here we will pass the counting so total total albums equal to album dot objects dot count okay and total total photos equal to total photos equal to album dot total photos equal to album dot of uh, photos dot photos dot objects dot count but here one thing more we need to filter the count only for the current user okay so the user equal to request dot user and one thing more this dashboard will open only after the user logged in so we will restrict that so what we will do from django dot contrib dot auth dot decorators import login required okay so here we will add login required so this will count the total albums so let's pass this total albums okay and now let's show here okay so this user has zero album because uh, we have created this user currently let's log in with another user okay so after the login we are redirecting to the uh, home page we can let's change this uh, we will redirect to the dashboard page login and then login and then dashboard Okay, let's go to the dashboard 
and here it is showing the albums two and photos whatever the photo photo is we have not showing the photos current okay so now what we will do here when we click on this albums it will show the list it will show the albums list okay so let's uh, see let's uh, so what kind of what uh, should we show the albums in this uh, layout or should we show in the list section what we need to do we can we can show this uh, uh, this way or we can show that way also so let's uh, create the album list page and for the profile only okay so let's create this so this is our album list user album list user album list dot htm okay and here we will pass the things copy paste and in the url we will pass here user albums and here we will pass the user id or we don't need to pass the user id because we, we want to show the current user albums so user albums we will get this from the request so here we will add user albums and now we will copy this okay do, we don't need to copy this and here user albums and login required and definition user albums request oh what is this thing? okay now we will render this and we are fetching all the albums but we need to just show the user albums so here we will pass the data and here we will add user album list okay and now uh, let's say album list we don't need this row but we need the table because we want to show the albums in as a table okay so table table border t head and in the t head we will add th here we will add the serial number and here we will add the album name and here we will show the total photos total photos and here we will show the action define the action okay and in the t body in the t body we will define all the things okay so what it will go if data then we will and if and here we will add four album in data four album in data and here we will end this and four okay and now we will add td and this will be for loop for loop counter this will count the result and the next one is album dot title okay and the next one is album dot total total photos okay and the next one is action so the action will be anchor and this will be edit delete and photos 
okay we need to give we will give this total photos on the anchor so when we click on this we can see the total photos as the same list okay so when we go to the dashboard it will show the albums when we click on this albums we will show the uh, album list so here we will add the link url url and we have created this user albums so here we will add a refresh user albums not found user albums is something it is saying so user albums user albums and name is this okay actually we have defined the name wrong this thing this will be work okay so it is working when we click on this it will show the user albums and it is showing but it is showing the tag so we need okay fine invalid block and if so and four okay fine so album one photos four edit delete and when we click on this it will show the total photos when we click on the edit it should show the edit form of this album when we click on the delete it will show the it will delete the album and related photos okay so in the delete we will one thing more we need to add on click return confirm and here we will add are you sure are you sure you want to delete this album it will also delete all photos of this album okay so we will show this uh, message to the user before deleting the data so when we click on this it will show the message and we will add the button button sm button info okay and here we will also add button change okay now this is uh, here we will also add button dark less okay so when we click on this it will read it to the photos list page and when we click on the edit it should show the form then we click on delete and we will also add the add thing here we will also add the one more thing that is the anchor and this will be add album and this should show the form so button button success button sm okay so when we click on this it will show the add album uh, it will show the form okay so in the next step in the next section we will work on this add edit delete and photos thing okay okay so we have created the album list page now we will create the add album form okay so before creating the add album form let's show the total photos of the total al from the total albums from this user okay so what we will do here i will close these tabs uh let's open this open uh, keep this open and total albums so here we will add total photos equal to photos dot objects dot filter so photos is not directly related to the user but related to the album and album is related to the user so what we will do here album user so here you can note here you can notice that i have added the two underscore so this means i am searching i am filtering the from the album and then from the user matching the and then here we will add the request dot user okay and here we will count so this will be fetch the total counting of photos so album this user okay
वन थिंग मोर वी नीड टू डू ओके लेट्स सी दिस लेटर वी विल वी विल वी विल मॉडिफाई दिस लेटर लेट्स शो दिस फोटोस सो हियर वी हैव अ फोटोस फोटोस रिफ्रेश दिस सो वी हैव अ फोर फोटोस एंड वी आर शोइंग द फोर नाउ व्हाट वी विल डू we will now let's uh, create the add album form so we will create the form so here we will create form start py file and here we will from django import forms okay and create album form and from the form start py file we will create model form because we want to create the form from the with the help of model and here we will import the from dot models models import album okay and we will also import the photos we will use this later and here we will define the class meta and the first thing will be model will be uh, what it opens okay so i will cut this model is album and we need to define the fields so fields will be uh, i will define the fields will be title and then album image okay so we will call this form we will import this form here so here we will import this form so here we will import the form from dot forms import album form okay so here we will import the album form and we will go to the and this will also required the login required thing okay so here we will add the login required definition and here we will add the add album okay so we were creating the form so here we will add so we have created the forms.py file and added all the things now we have imported this form album form and now we will show the album album equal to add album and request okay and here is the form and form will be album form okay and here we will show the form so i will copy this and this okay and message will be default empty and then album form and here we will create the add album page okay so we will copy the form and registration page so i will copy this and paste it here and name it add album and just rename it add album okay and here we will just add submit we don't need this data we don't need this link okay and now we need to add this link at this here in the album list page okay so let's remove the dashboard remove the base.html and here we will add okay have we created the urls no we have not created yet so let's create the url so here we will add album and here we will add album and let's say the name will be same okay so now url add album okay refresh this page when we click on this it will show the form it is showing according to the model fields so this is the title and this is the album image okay so we have created this uh, let's say test test user album okay and add this data 
let's say we will okay we don't need any special thing here we will add this image submit okay so let's say this album admin okay no need to see this i will go to just uh, dashboard and here we have a album so here we have a so this which user is this okay we didn't okay oh my god but actually we didn't uh, we didn't apply the saving things in this album just we have sh uh, shown the uh, we have shown the um, uh, form now we will do this here so if request dot method equal to, I have not uh, uh, I have not wrote the code but I'm expect but I was expecting that okay no issues so if request dot method equal to post then what we will do here form equal to the same thing that we have done in the here okay so here we just need to change this form okay we, we also need this request dot files because we are also sending the files so thanks for uh, data has been added okay and in the add album we need to define the end type and this will be multi multi part form data so please remember this whenever you are adding the image in the form then you need to define the anchor tank type multi part form data so here we have added this and now we need to show the message so i will show the message here after the heading so this will be message p tag okay let's show the message before the heading refresh this and test user album and this will be this and submit so it is showing that not null construct main album okay actually we need to define the user id also so after saving this data we need to define commit equal to false so this would not actually save the data in database okay but it will keep uh, in the variable and now so here we will define the save form equal to this and save form dot user equal to request dot user and after this save form dot save okay because we need to add the user in this form so we will uh, we are adding the current user so this will be test user uh, this will be test user album select the image submit so data has been added now we will go to the dashboard here we have a two albums okay so test user album and we have a zero photos now we will define the edit link edit url so first of all we will go to this add edit album we will go to update album uh, we will here update and we will go here and after this we will copy this okay and here we will update album and in this we will pass the id okay and here we need to pass the id so this will be our album id and here is the id album id and we need to get the album data album instance so album dot objects dot get and the primary key is id equal to id so in the form we need to pass the instance okay so the instance is equal to album okay and the similarly we need to pass the instance here here so here we will update data has been updated and all things will be same and just we need to change this update album and we will copy this copy paste and save this update 
album dot html okay so update album okay so let's refresh this page and we need to define the link here also uh, we will here url update album and here up album dot id okay we have done now refresh this page edit on this so it is showing is showing the title album image is currently this we can change this uh, like uh, updated so submit this it is showing data has been updated and showing the updated data okay so now we go to the dashboard and we have a uh, five photos so why it is showing the five photos okay we will see that okay actually this is the dashboard and this is showing the total albums so we have total albums three but we have a total album one uh, let's let's change the test test at the rate this is so total albums is this okay let's verify this uh, dashboard dashboard total albums filter user user request dot count and total photos so we are showing the things here okay let's go to the admin we will see what is happening admin admin actually we have added the data i think the data has been added but the album is not showing here is the album and the photos photos 5 so i think we need to show the album here also so i will open the admin.py file and in the photos i will show album refresh this okay so this is album one updated this is album one updated this is album one updated so here we need to see something update album this is request post request files instance saving data and data has been saved okay so let's go to the refresh this page and this is a admin and admin has only one album but it is showing all the list and we need to show only the albums of that admin so data equal to this user albums equal to user equal to request dot user refresh this page <clears throat> actually we need this in filter dot filter we don't need this all here we will add the user refresh this page so the admin has only one album and dashboard zero photos okay so currently we have saved the things actually we are adding uh, we are saving the user request user albums update album okay so we will see this uh, we will see this scenario in the next section so we have successfully added and updated uh, implement the added and update functionality in the album now we will implement the delete functionality and add it uh, add functionality on the photos and delete functionality on the photos so let's uh, we need to delete this so what we will do here first the, the first thing we will add the link here delete album and we will pass the delete id and similarly we will do here delete 
album and we will update the things and we will go to the views.py file and we will add the decorator login required and definition delete album okay request oh so we need to return redirect also we need the redirection so here what we will do we will get this album actually we want to delete this so we will get this we will filter this and then we will delete this after deleting this we will return return redirect so where we want to redirect we will redirect to the dashboard okay so refresh this page okay we will redirect this on the user albums refresh this page okay so we have defined the link we have defined the and one thing more i have added the in the admin list i have also add the user in the admin list okay so you can when we see the list of albums then we will we can also see the user that who added it added the album okay i will show you when we will add add as admin but currently we have uh, we have logged in as a uh, user so we will delete this less uh, like this we will delete delete and it is saying that got unexpected argument id so what we need to do we need to pass here id we have not passed in the view section I refresh this page and let's delete this delete so album has been deleted when we go to the dashboard we have only one photo okay so photos photos are also deleted we have two albums one photo okay so now add edit delete is working working fine now let's jump into the okay we will uh, we will create the photos crud thing actually we need two things in the photos add photo in the specific album and just we need to delete the photo we need to do this okay so we will do this in the next section okay so we have implemented the add edit and read functionality in the album now we will jump into the photos so we need to create the photos form so first of all when we click on this it should show the photos list so create the photos list first so i will delete this uh, album urls uh, we will create the photos okay we will create the step by step things so here we will create photo list photo list and this will be our album id okay and this will be our photo list okay i will name it same as this okay now we will create the photo list here add login required definition photo list request and here is the album id okay and now we will we will get the photos of specific album so here photos equal to i will add here and this will be our album id and i will pass the data and this will be photo list photo list okay and here we will the here we will pass the data photos we don't need this message now let's create the uh, we will copy this use album list and create here and save this as a photo let's say user photo list user photo photos list dot html okay 
so this is user photos dot html file and this is user photo list user photo list and in the album we need to define this url so url is photo list and here we will define the album id album dot id okay and this is photo list and here we will add the photo all text and action so photo so this will be for loop counter photo dot the first the first is we know we don't need this the first is photo and here is the alt text and this will be a image okay let's verify the name from the model uh, this is the image okay so we don't need the album list now we don't need the this this and this okay uh, we don't need the models.py file also image and we will add this in our source file actually we require a url url and we will define the width equal to 100 okay we don't need the update because we will delete or add photos so here i show want to delete this data delete this photo okay and here we will delete photo okay let's make it hash else it will create error until we create this delete functionality okay so we have uh, settled the url we have settled the view we have uh, created the template now let's refresh this page and when we click on this it is showing the row but not showing the delete things okay so what we need to do so we have a uh, photos we actually we are fetching the photos from the album but this will be a this is album and we need the instance of album actually so this will be album id and here we will pass the album so here so this is the photo and this is image 5 we can delete this data so i will copy this and paste it here and this will be delete photo and this is request and this is photo id equal to this and we will okay here we will pass the two things album id and photo id so we will delete the photo id and we will redirect to the album so what we will do here photo list plus string and this will be album id okay so when we delete the photo photo when we when photo deleted then we will redirect to the current page okay so we need this set this url so i will copy this url and here we will be album id so this will be album id this will be photo id and here we will name it delete photo okay and this will be delete photo and here it is also delete photo so here we will add the url url delete photo and we need album dot id and photo dot id okay refresh this page reverse for delete photo argument uh, something so what we need to do photo dot album dot id so this is the album album is 3 and photo is 8 so when we delete this it will redirect to the album this actually we need to change this title and we need to change this link so let's change this first photos list okay add photo add photo we will create this soon make this hash else it will create error 
so photos list add photos okay so when we delete this let's say delete delete so it will redact on the photo so here we need to do photos no reverse match for this because we need we have forgot to add slash okay refresh this photo has been deleted now we need to create the form we will verify the delete once more one more time okay we will need to create the form and that the form will be similar to the add album so in here we will copy this photo form photo form and everything is fine we just need to get the fields so the fields are album image and all text so here we will be album album image and alt text okay refresh this page photos meta we need to photo form we will add here uh, we will copy this and before the photo delete we will add here add photo and this will be form our photo form add photo okay everything is uh, same uh, we are doing the same things we don't need this user because user directly not connected with the photo we are connected with the album and we are already adding uh, added the album in the form field list okay now we will copy the add photo add album thing in the add photo actually i will on the night mode turn on now okay so this will reduce the reduce the strain on eyes so I will open the add form here add photo okay and then everything will be the same so here we will add album add add photo add photo here will be okay and here we will be we will be, uh, will be add the photo okay so refresh this page so what it is showing run the server okay fine so I'll refresh this page add photo we need to define the link here add photo add photo and name photo form is not defined because we have not import this form here photo form refresh this page refresh this page so we can select the album so we will select only the user albums so these are my albums but it is showing three albums but we have only two so actually we need to add this link also so we will open the dashboard open the dashboard okay we can't show the links we can't show the link because we can't open the photos directly so we need to remove the link from the dashboard so i will remove this link we just keep is a keep it as a number of photos so go to the album we have two album i will go to the photos add photo and here it is showing the three albums okay so why it is showing three albums add photo photo form request dot file and here we need to show the add photos photo form
okay so uh, now in this form we need actually uh, it it was before it was showing all the albums but we need the current user album so what we have done in the forms.py file i have added this function so this function what it is doing doing this function i am fetching the album according to the current filter okay so we will when we will in, initiate this then we will pass the current user okay so here is the user okay so we will fetch the only albums of this user okay so when we refresh this it is showing the album to edit it now let's log out login and we will log in with the test user okay so albums photos add photo and now i can see here only two albums so browse image i will add i have only these images image one summit so data has been added and i have redirected on the add photo but i want okay this is fine so let's go to the dashboard and you can see here we have a i want to redirect on after adding the data i want to redirect on return redirect okay it's fine we are redirecting uh, on the same page so that user can add more data so we have created the functionality of add photo and uh, let's uh, name it here let's show the album name here so user photo list and we can show the album name so here we have photo list we can show the album name album album and here we can show album dot title okay uh, we don't need this photo list in the span tag actually I will add it okay so it is showing the L something actually I have added the album uh, this is fine let's close and read on the server photo list so album 3 updated photo list i will add some space here space here. okay so add photo so we will add the photo and read that to this page we can also we can also do the things when we add photo you can pass the album dot id and we need to here pass the album id okay and in the views we need to pass album id and in this album id we can get this data and we can pass this data here okay and here we can redirect return redirect so where we want to redirect photo list photo list slash plus string and i want to redirect on album id so refresh this page so here we have a add photo click on this and let's add test user album add one more photo something and we are redirecting on a somewhere else actually we need to add the thing here refresh this page and we will go to the albums both album have two photos one and let's try to delete this delete and let's try to add one more photo and here we will add data submit so data has been submit okay 
so we have created this photo gallery and one thing more i want to add that uh, which album i want to show here and which i album i want i don't want to show okay so in the next step we will do that thing okay so we have performed photo add and delete things and we are redirecting on the albums and we have created the dashboard with counting and all the things now i will uh, modify this edit link and uh, redirect to the uh, dash uh, redirect to the uh, this uh, link when we go to this i will redirect to the, this link but only if the user is logged in so what we will do we will open our home layout so we will open the home.html file and here uh, i will copy the things from the base.html file this thing okay we can write this also if user dot user dot is authenticated then what we will do we will show this url and it okay and the url is url is update album okay and the album dot id refresh so invalid block tag something it is saying if user dot is authenticated and we are doing the things and here we did not add the url so that it is seeing something how i can do this refresh so because we have logged in so this is edit album edit album 3 we will go to this album let's say log out and we will here we can only see the view section one thing more i want to add i want to restrict the data so i will open the models.py file and here i will add the status okay so the status will be dot boolean field boolean and this will be models so that it, it was not showing so default is true okay and i will define null equal to true okay let's see that we need to py may manage dot py make migrations so we have added that py manage dot py migrate successful run sub py run sub okay So now what we will do next refresh this page we are showing all the things and let's we are logged in okay no worries what we will do here okay currently we have defined the status okay in the home page uh, on the home page I will fetch only those albums that are that status is filter we don't need all so the status is true okay so refresh this page so all status is true let's go to the login okay and go to the album and edit this and we need to form and we will add here status and refresh this page so let's say status is submit so now we'll go to the gallery and here you can see that we have only two albums is showing okay so with the help of status we can see that and we will add the status in the admin also so we will add admin 
so here we will add the status so let's go to the admin let's go to admin and here we will add the things albums so here we have a status and as i said before that i am also showing the user okay so this is a simple project and in this project we have covered lots of things i have tried to cover lots of things so you have learned you have learned lot of things from this uh, project and uh, thanks for watching this video okay so please share this video and comment if you have any query you can change this text also and uh, you can improve this project as much as you can and uh, if i have a i have done some mistake or anything then please add in the comment section and i will upload all the code on github okay so please go to uh, code artisan lab on youtube and please download or please watch the videos not actually download please watch the videos share the videos like the videos comment and please add your suggestion for the next next series or uh, next things okay so i i will try to create that i will try to create that series so here we have the things okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much have a good day